How good is that feeling when you pick up a new car for the first time or even an old nugget, Martin? An old nugget, particularly if it's a kind of old nugget that you've always had in the back of your head, man, I would love to experience that car, own that car, modify that car, do something cool with it. You know what? I've never owned one of these before in my it's whole life. It's the kind of nugget that you of have. Marty's dreams. You've owned I one. have. Look, check it out, everybody. It's Marty's new two-door STI. <laughs> For Subaru fans everywhere, a two-door coupe is the holy grail. The ultimate of these being the 22B, which is the rarest and wildest Subaru ever made. This is its closest relative, also somewhat rare. These were released by Subaru in Australia in 1998. They're special here as we didn't get coupes in any other form as some other countries did. STI stands for Subaru Technica International, which was established to enter the World Rally Championship, a particularly big deal 30 odd years ago. Possum born from New Zealand was instrumental in the formation of this push towards rally domination. Just like the EJ20 engines used in early Liberty Legacies and WRXs, STI engines were modified with forged pistons, bigger turbos, fancy heads, but were power limited to 206 kilowatts at the engine, as per the gentleman's agreement of the time. I finally did it. I finally got aboard the WRX train. I've had Subarus for ages for my whole driving career, but never a WRX. I'd always stayed away from them because they all felt inferior compared to this one, which but is a two-door. this is special, right? Because it's two-door. That's this why is, they cost one million dollars. This is not the specialist, as okay. some people will quickly point out. This is the second most special one they ever made. Okay, right. So the specialist one they ever made was a 22B, which is only like 400 of them in the entire world. Yep. Wide body, 2.2 litre engine. And this, this is the two-door STI, of which there was only 400 in Australia, but most in of them Australia. have crashed or they've been <laughs> ram-rated into a bank. Is that correct? <laughs> a good number of them, have, uh, yeah, would have had that kind of fate. But yeah, only 399 of these made it into Australia. There are others worldwide and different sort of versions of this, but these are a bit special in Australia. It looks really good. Like, it actually looks really good. And this is, what, mid, late 90s? This is uh, built in the end of 1998. So I think that right. makes it a 99. Um, it's had a pretty good life. It's a two-owner car, I'm now the third owner. And it was in the same hands for like the last sort of 18 years. Um, driven to the shops every day. There's, there's shopping trolley dings all the way up it. Yeah. But underneath that, everything is really nice. Tight, works well, no problems with it all. Everything is just really good. So I'd sort of rather an honest car that has that than get something that looks perfect but has been wrapped around five trees or poles or ram ragged. Which is basically Every the kind other. of car that I got that I'll be showing you later. Sure. Uh, so what's interesting about this, it's a two litre, it's a, got an EJ207 in it, which is what we put in my mum's car, it's the STI version of that. Um, it's got some nice heads on it compared to a normal WRX, it's got a nice brake setup. it's got a different ratio in the gearbox, but I mean they're not that much different from a normal WRX. There's a few nice things about it, but it was sold as this is an STI, this is the special version. Wow. And they only released them for a very short amount of time and they sold out pretty quick. I like the ramen wing on it. Have you seen the, um, the photos of people sitting here eating their noodles? Yeah. They kind of sit here and sit there, but I think it actually looks really good, like yeah. on this kind of car. Like usually something that big, I'd go, I don't know, man, I don't know if that looks good on your Civic, but on this car, I think it looks really good. It's the most kind of racery car I've ever owned. Now, you could argue that an Evo 9 is more racery, but firstly, I've never owned one, but I had a dream once that I did, and that sort of was more aggressive and more stancy and more everything. But this sort of has something about it, and there's something about the way they drive, which you just have to drive to experience. So, I suggest we drive it. Let's do it. Feels pretty good, huh? Feels great. I mean, everybody knows I'm a fan of WRXs. Yeah. I and mean, this is stock, is that right? It's got like a bit of an exhaust, but other than that, it's as is. It's got an exhaust, doesn't have a tune or anything in it. I, as I understand it, this is the second motor, which is also not uncommon for a WRX yeah. of this era, because they did, a lot of them just went pop. And they've got a reputation for being unreliable for that reason, but they're also thrashed. The guts are thrashed out of them yeah. for years and years and years, more than even a Yaris with a big block. Yeah, okay. It feels so tight for such an old car though. Like there are no rattles, there's nothing vibrating, there's nothing crazy about it. It just feels really good. It feels good. Now it's got lowered springs in it. They're lower than I would go. Yep. I would definitely lower it, but not as much. And the reason I do that, I like how it looks. Like it looks cool, but it's just got that tiny bit of scrubbiness. Yes. And that's not what you want from a car that was designed initially to be a rally car. Like yeah, yeah. you want to jump it off stuff, at yeah, least yeah. I do. So I have that feeling about it that you can just sort of go anywhere. So it's a bit low for my liking, but in terms of how it drives, I mean, it's it, so tight. It's tight, but are you uncomfortable? I'm not uncomfortable at all. No, and it's, it like feels sort of nippy and just, yeah, see, scraping. Oh, right. Yeah. See, I was about to say, 
I reckon we just smash out a mega hot lap, but I don't think we should while it's ripping <laughs> no, up your tyres like that. I, would, I mean, I'd put springs in it. If I had the time, I would just go and smash some springs in it, which is yeah, def definitely what's, yeah. what needs to happen. Let's give it a bit, Martin. Let's feel it go. The feel gear. it raw. It revs. It picks up nicely. Like, it's not... Oh, like that's pretty good. And STI brakes, yeah, of the course, brakes, amazing. The are good. Probably need some more aggressive pads in it, really, if you're going to be doing this kind of stuff. But it just sits exactly where you want. It's got good diffs in it. It's got a good box in it. Like it's, it's, it's made for doing this. Yes. This, is, this is its purpose, and you can make them really fast if you uh, if you pick the right recipe. But they're a good thing. I really like it. Back in the day, I'd never really driven one of these, but. Uh, when I had my 180SX, there was yeah. a lot of kind yeah. of uh, rivalry between like the Nissan yep. group and the Subaru Absolutely. group. But this was kind of the ultimate version of what like Subaru nerds would always talk about, <laughs> these two-door STIs. <laughs> I never really thought anything about it because I preferred a, you know, a, a, a Nissan that smelt of bong smoke, sweat and soy sauce. But this here doesn't have any weird smells at all. What? Would you like to drive it? Oh, I'd love to drive it, Martin. Thank you, mate. That's very kind. Now, we may be about to experience the absolute worst thing about WRSs. And Which is me driving them no, and using the gearbox like a Nissan driver and well, braking stuff. There's that, but no, it's, it's worse than that. This has a car alarm system because these were, these were hot items and they got stolen a lot. That's what the police I started think, using these as police I think cars. The didn't car they? just probably now thinks that I just got pulled out of the car and you stole it. So it may cut out. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> It's got an alarm system where every other time you start it, you've got to punch in a code, but that doesn't always work. Yeah. It's like, it's going in the bin okay. because it's so frustrating to actually live with. And a lot of people say, you know, it, it, you get stuck at the worst possible time. Is that the only corner we're going to scrub on back there? I think turning that way is worse because the bumper bar looks like it's had a hit or something. Okay. I don't know. Like I said, it's not perfect. But yeah, you can get into it. It's only scrubbing that you, that's going to hurt it. Oh, he's slowing down at the start line. Here what? we go. Here what? we go. I'm just, just for science, I'm just going to see Only if you can... Only for science and I'm nothing I'm just going to see if you can go quicker than Yaris Hilton. Then what, That's the only one thing you've got to do. As long as you're quicker can than Can you launch these or not? Oh, you not, can launch Not it. really. Yeah, go for, you've owned a WRX, you know what's okay, up. Okay, tell me when. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that was a launch. <laughs> I can smell a bit of clutch, sorry. That's clutch. Nissan driver. Feels good, bud, huh? Feels really good. That's all scrub. That's all scrub. See I'm not going to do it, man. I'm not going to do it. I don't want to. <laughs> no, no, go, 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 go. No, no. You've got to go faster than Yaris Hilton. I'm not going to do you it. You can do it. It's going to rip your bumper off. It's not really. Go, go, go. I'm you can still do, do this. I can't still do it. But you, that, that, but you don't have to go that hard around every corner. The car's dead. Is why I stopped. Oh, it thinks we got hijacked. Okay. It thinks we got hijacked. It's dead. It's not dead like broken dead. It thinks we got hijacked. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Because this little stupid keypad thing, this is the thing I freaking hate about this vehicle so far, and it's going to go in the bin. ASAP. So, so now we're locked to... in. Okay. So now we've got to open it as if we're getting out of it. Open the door. Open the door. Yep. Oh, look, we just got in our STI. Yay. Uh, now I get shut back the in. Door. Yep, shut the door. Now you put that key in. Okay. I have to check the code because I've forgotten it already, but okay. I had to write it down. So this this is if, so say you're in like a real hurry to go meet up with someone, you're like, oh my God, this is going to be the best night ever. And nope, not in your WRX, you're not. Okay. Nope, you're still waiting. We put in our code. Oh, do I, does my door have to be closed? I don't know. Okay. I actually don't know the answer to that. And now try and turn the key. Yep, so you got nothing, so we put our code in. Nope. Try again. No, nothing. Got keys? Turn the key on. Turn the key. The keys off. Maybe my door has to be closed. Maybe. Key keys on. in, now keys on. Now take the key out completely and try it again. Try and turn it. No, nothing. It no. thinks you got hijacked. Okay. You cannot get out at a track and let your friend drive your car. Okay. Maybe this is a good time to go and show you my new car, considering this doesn't work. Because you know my what? car's not going to have this problem. Do you want to go see my this new car? This has happened a bit, literally between picking this up and it being at this track. This has happened about five times, and every time it was inconvenient. But that means it's happened five times since yesterday. Exactly. Because every like third time, I've been driving a lot because I love it. Every time you start it, this happens. Okay. You try to get in it. Uh, should we go get my car? I guess so. Look, spirit, spirit of dr Thank that you. Arm's coming out like. Straight away. Thank you, Subaru. Next time on Mighty Carmons. Wow, that's Stupid really thing. disappointing, man. What a nug.